Hello guys, okay me, okay the job. Okay, so today we're going to start with the reading, okay? Let me let me make this bigger. Okay, very good. So diving with sharks, okay? This is going to be our reading. Nuestra lectura va a ser diving with sharks. Okay, so look at the photo. What do you think it's happening? What do you think is happening in here? ¿Qué creen que esté pasando en esta foto? Okay, maybe I don't know, maybe they're fishing. ¿Creen que estén pescando? Or maybe they are feeding the shark. ¿Creen que le estén dando de comer al, al, al tiburón? Okay. I don't know. Okay. Maybe. What do you think is happening? I think it has to do something related with the title. Okay. Creo que tiene que ver algo relacionado con el título que es Diving with Sharks. Okay. So, let's see. Um, let's read the content note. Okay. Over here in small it says, Amanda Brewer was... Cage diving when she took this photo of a great white shark. So they're explaining us about the picture. No están explicando de la imagen, okay? So this girl, Amanda, okay, she took the picture, tomó una foto. How? How did she took a picture? She was diving, okay? Cage diving. What do you think it's a cage? ¿Qué, qué, qué creen que sea un cage? Okay, voy a intentar dibujar un cage. Ay, by the way, the last class, por cierto, la última clase... Según yo les dibujé para que se viera y todo, ¿y qué creen? No me di cuenta que no se estaba viendo nada. Ok, so, now, I don't know if you can see, but I think this is a cage, ok? This, this over here, it's a cage. So, what do you think it's a cage? ¿Qué creen que sea un cage, ok? A cage, like you're in a cage, like, ah, I'm in a cage, ok? Una jaula, yes? So, she, Amanda, the one that took the photo, la que tomó la foto, She was cage diving. Acuérdense que ya vimos la clase pasada que era dive, ¿ok? Go deep, ¿ok? Into the ocean. So, what was she doing? She was cave diving, ¿ok? Los meten en una jaulita and they put them below, ¿ok? Y los bajan en el mar, ¿ok? So, she, she and everyone that's inside, todos los que están adentro, they can see, they're inside the water, ¿ok? And they can see the sharks, but they're protected, están protegidos by the cage, ¿ok? Let's read. Sharks are a kind of fish, and in many ways they look similar to fish. For many examples, the shapes of their bodies and their location of their gills are similar. Okay? The gills, remember the gills. There are over four, 400 kinds of sharks. And although many people tend to fear them, most sharks are harmless to humans. The whale shark, for example, Only eat plankton, and many sharks only eat smaller fish, shellfish, and other marine animals. The largest shark, the great white shark, however, attacks larger animals like seals, dolphins, and sea turtles, and has been known to attack humans. Okay, so they're explaining us about the sharks. No están explicando a los tiburones, okay? There are 400 types. ¿Cuántos tipos hay? 400 tipos de tiburones. And most of them, la mayoría, only eat small, very small fish, ¿ok? Pescaditos muy chiquitos. But the one that has known, el que conocen que sí han atacado humanos, the white shark, el tiburón blanco, ¿ok? But they say, scientists say, los científicos dicen, esto se lo estoy poniendo en mi cosecha y no crean que viene en el libro. O bueno, no sé, ahorita leemos. Pero los científicos dicen que the white sharks that have eaten humans or attack humans is because they confuse them, ¿ok? Dicen que los atacan a los humanos porque los confunden, ¿ok? ¿Los confunden con qué? Aquí nos dice, fíjense, con mm, seals, ¿ok? Con estas seals, con, con las foquitas, ¿ok? Confunden al humano con una foquita y, órale, le sueltan la mordida. So, let's see. Scan the article, letter B. Scan the article, what did Brewer do in Mostly Bay? Ok, tienen que encontrar, acuérdense aquí. Entonces vamos a ver, dice, vamos a escanear. What did Brewer do in Mostly Bay? Entonces vamos a buscar Brewer y Mostly Bay. So, we start looking, scanning, scanning, scanning. Over here, he was volunteering, ok. Entonces vamos a ponerle ahí, he was, he was volunteering, ok. Talk with a partner. What do you think of sharks? Acuérdense, como no podemos platicar entre nosotros ahorita, vamos a escribir ahí abajito de esa pregunta. What do you think of sharks? ¿Qué creen de los tiburones? Do you think they're amazing? Do you think they're scary? 
Do you think they're great? Do you think they are disgusting? Do you think they are what? What do you think about sharks? Okay, lo vamos a escribir ahí. And right now, let's see the language note. Vamos a ver language note. Acuérdense que este lo tienen que ir leyendo conmigo. Brewer dived into the ocean. A great white shark suddenly appeared. What she still... Was she still in the ocean when the shark appeared? Into shows the action of moving into the ocean. If the person is in the ocean, we use it, ¿ok? Entonces me están explicando aquí la oración, ¿yes? Dice, Brewer dive into the ocean. Brewer, acuérdense que es la mujer, hasta acá abajo nos dice, fíjense, Amanda Brewer, ¿ok? Ella dived into the ocean. A great white shark suddenly appeared. Okay, was she still in the ocean when the shark appeared? Into shows the action of moving into the ocean. So, me dicen que si yo pongo el into, okay, es que es la acción de moverte hacia el océano, okay? If the person is in the ocean, we use in. Si la persona está dentro del océano, utilizamos in, okay? Entonces, into cuando vamos hacia, in cuando estamos dentro, yes? Ya también lo habíamos visto, acuérdense que lo vimos We saw it when we were giving directions, cuando estábamos dando las direcciones, ¿se acuerdan? Go into the street, ve hacia la calle tal, o in the street, en la calle, ¿yes? Ok, so, now, let's read and listen, ¿ok? I'm going to play, ya lo tienen en su libro, pero les voy a poner el script. Track 2-43 Diving with Sharks Amanda Brewer is an art teacher from New Jersey in the United States. She is very interested in sharks. She even traveled to South Africa as a volunteer for White Shark Africa. In the summer of 2014, Brewer was volunteering in Mosel Bay, South Africa. She was working with scientists to collect information about sharks. She was also helping out on shark spotting trips. On one of these trips, Brewer dived into the ocean in a metal cage. She was hoping to see a shark up close. She didn't have to wait very long. A great white shark suddenly appeared and swam straight toward the cage. It wanted to eat a piece of meat tied to the cage. Brewer managed to take a photo of the animal just when it opened its mouth. Brewer was very excited about her experience with the shark. She said she wasn't scared at all. They're beautiful, powerful, and intelligent, and it erases all the fear, she explained. After her close encounter, she shared the photo she took online. Soon, many people were talking about it. She also hung the photo in her classroom for her students to see. They were amazed to hear about her adventure. She hopes to use the image to teach her students that we should protect sharks. Okay, so they're telling us her story. Nos dicen la historia de Amanda Brewer, okay? And she's an art teacher. Es una maestra de arte, okay? But she went on a little adventure. Se fue de aventura, yes? And uh, she was volunteering mientras estaba haciendo su um, voluntariado, yes? Ayudando a la gente. Uh, she was working with scientists to collect information about sharks. Decidió trabajar con científicos para eh, recolectar información de los tiburones. Por eso se metió aquí a la jaulita para, para ver a los tiburones. But something very weird, algo muy raro para mí. I don't know for you, but for me it's weird. She says they're beautiful, que son hermosos los tiburones. I don't know if you think they're beautiful. No sé si creen que están hermosos. I don't think they're beautiful. Yo no creo que sean hermosos, pero I don't know what you think. Okay, so, they're telling us her story, okay? Now, let's answer the questions on the next page. Acuérdense, vamos a contestar nuestras preguntitas de la siguiente página. Comprehension. Let's see. Let me make it bigger. Déjenme lo hago más grandecito. And we're going to check, okay? Remember, we have already read. Ya lo leímos. So, it should be very easy to answer, okay? Debería de ser sencillo contestar. Answer the questions about diving with sharks. And remember, we always have main idea, vocabulary, inference, detail, and inference. Okay, so, vamos a contestar este junto y lo demás lo van a hacer solitos, yes? Main idea, the article is about a shark attack, dangerous sharks, or getting close to a shark. What do you think it is? 
getting close to a shark. Yes, hasta la imagen nos lo enseña. Yes. Okay, number two, vocabulary. A volunteer is someone who works. Okay, ¿qué creen que sea un voluntario? Volunteers. For many organizations, with animals or without getting money. Okay? Without getting money. Acuérdense que un voluntario, como lo dice su nombre, es voluntario. ¿Por qué voluntario? Porque, pues, no le pagan. Okay? And let me see. Number three. I'm so sorry. Number three. Inference. The shark swam to the cage because it was... ¿Por qué nada ese tiburón hacia la jaula? Angry. Hungry. Mm. Or playful, ¿ok? Acuérdense, no, de no debemos de confundir angry con hungry, ¿ok? Angry es enojado. Hungry, mmm, tengo hambre. Hambriento, ¿ok? Playful, ya saben que es playful, juguetón. Entonces, ¿por qué creen que se haya acercado ese tiburón? Hungry. Hasta ahí nos decía que había un pedazo de, de, de pescado. Yes, and he wanted to eat it. Se lo quería comer. Number four, detail. Brewer feels about her experience with shark. Excited. Hasta compartió la foto por todos lados, yes? Very good, excited. And the last one, inference. Brewer says we shouldn't be afraid of, go near or feed the sharks because they are beautiful and intelligent. Be afraid of. Ella dice que no debemos de tenerle miedo porque son hermosos para ella, acuérdense, para mí no. Very good, okay. Remember, if it was too fast, acuérdense, si fue muy rápido y no alcanzaron a checar sus respuestas, you can go back on the video, ¿ok? Pueden regresar al video. Uh, complete the chart, write the notes to describe the viewer's experience, ¿ok? So, vamos a hacer estas dos, yes? You're going to complete the chart, van a completar esa tablita, and you're going to do the critical thinking, y van a hacer el pensamiento crítico, acuérdense. Once again, this one we share it in class, normalmente lo compartimos en clase, but this way... We're not going to be able, okay? So you're going to write it there in your book, okay? Lo escriben ahí en su libro. En este sí tenemos espacio. And um, the chart. Van a completar la tabla con la lectura. And then the critical thinking. Vamos a ver el critical thinking. Dice, talk with a partner. Do you think we should protect sharks? Why or why not? So what is this question about? ¿Qué dice esta pregunta? Dice, ¿crees que debamos proteger a los tiburones? And you're going to answer, yes, I do, or no, I don't, porque es pregunta simple. Entonces, yes, I do, or no, I don't, but then you need to answer why. Después necesitan contestar el por qué. Okay? ¿Por qué creen que debemos proteger a los tiburones o por qué no creen que debemos de proteger a los tiburones? So, over there, your answer, please. Ahí, por favor, su respuestita, ¿ok? And the writing, el que les encanta escritura, vamos a ver acuérdense que aquí me dan un ejemplo you cannot copy the example, please no copien ese ejemplo acuérdense que siempre se los regresamos si ustedes copian ese ejemplo el caso es que empecemos a, a, a escribir poco a poquito so, don't copy the example remember it's just an example, ok acuérdense que solo es el ejemplo writing, vamos a explicarlo write about a risk that you took describe what happened what you did, and whether you think it was worth it, ¿ok? Este es como, este como el de los tiburones y como el que vimos la clase pasada de los corales, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Dice, escribe acerca de un riesgo que tú hayas tomado. Describe qué pasó, qué hiciste y si piensas que valió la pena o no. Let's read the example. Last month, I went rock climbing for the first time. I was nervous, but I decided to try it out. I had a rope, but I was scared because I was so high up. My arms and legs were shaking. I was thinking of giving up halfway, but when I finally reached the top, I was so happy. Now, I'm not so scared anymore. Entonces, este es el ejemplo, ¿ok? So, you need to write about a risk that you took. Acuérdense que los riesgos que tomamos pueden ser sencillos para unos, complicados para otros. No tiene que ser de un deporte extremo. Puede ser cualquier riesgo que ustedes hayan tomado, ¿ok? El que quieran. But you need to write about it in your notebook. Este sí lo vamos a hacer en la libreta, ¿ok? Please, ¿ok? And then we go right now with the teacher Rudy, ¿ok? So, always a pleasure. Siempre un placer darles clases, chiquillos. And I see you next class, okay? Bye, guys.